How has Michigan and the business environment changed in the last couple of years, would you say? Well, I think that uh, Governor Snyder gets a lot of credit because he's really put some focus where it needed to be on what's it going to take, and that's what Doug Rothwell and these business leaders are talking today about, what's it going to take? And, and the recognition has to be front and center in everyone's mind that it takes an ability to win the competition, and that's exactly what they're focused on. How do you beat the next state over? Indiana's been very aggressive. Governor Kasich in Ohio is trying to do things. Everybody at the state level is stirring things up and they're really competing. And so you want to carve out a niche. Michigan has always been blessed because you've had the auto industry and some would say cursed because of the dependence. But I, I always used to say to the analysts out at Wall Street, would you rather us not have an auto industry? Would we bet, be conceivably better off? And with the auto industry coming back, it's provided some economic strength. Unfortunately, our starting point's a little bit low, so we have to, we've got work to do. Two things I think are really important to Michigan. One is that there be a national uh, strategy for growth, which I don't think we have at the moment. 2% national GDP coming out of a deep recession doesn't get it done. Too many people in part-time jobs, too many people looking for the kind of job that could lead to a career where you could support a family. So growth at the national level. And then Michigan, a strategy to methodically, and that's the thing about uh, Governor Snyder, that, that relentless pursuit if we can get the problems that we have fixed. And I think on that list has to be continued effort to improve the quality of education because I believe at the end of the day, the state with the best schools still has the best chance to win.